The ExoMars 2020 surface platform is a planned robotic Mars lander, part of the ExoMars 2020 mission by the European Space Agency and the Roscosmos State Corporation. The plan calls for a Russian Proton-M launch vehicle to deliver the Russian-built surface platform as well as the ExoMars rover to the surface of Mars. Once safely landed, the platform will deploy the rover and will start a one Earth year mission to investigate the surface environment at the landing site. The spacecraft was scheduled to launch in 2018 and land on Mars in early 2019, but due to delays in European and Russian industrial activities and deliveries of the scientific payload, it was moved to the launch window in July 2020. Topic: Scientific Instruments. The science payload mass is about 45 kg and consists of The Lander Radio Science Experiment will study the internal structure of Mars, understand the sublimation, condensation cycle of atmospheric CO2, and will make precise measurements of the rotation and orientation of the planet by monitoring two-way Doppler frequency shifts between the surface platform and Earth. It will also detect variations in angular momentum due to the redistribution of masses, such as the migration of ice from the polar caps to the atmosphere. Developed by Belgium. The habitability, brine, irradiation and temperature habit package will investigate the amount of water vapor in the atmosphere, daily and seasonal variations in ground and air temperatures, and the UV radiation environment. Developed by Sweden. Meteorological package Meteo -M. Developed by Russia. The instrument will incorporate the following sensor packages. Pressure and humidity sensors Medio P, Medio H. Developed by Finland. The instrument have extensive heritage from those in the Curiosity rover, Schiaparelli lander and Phoenix lander. Radiation and dust sensors RDM. Developed by Spain. Anisotropic magneto-resistance sensor to measure magnetic fields. Developed by Spain. A magnetometer named Maigret, developed by Russia. The instrument will incorporate the Wave Analyzer Module WAM, developed by the Czech Republic. A set of cameras to characterize the landing site environment TSPP. Developed by Russia. Instrument Interface and Memory Unit BIP. Developed by Russia. An IR Fourier spectrometer to study the atmosphere FAST. Developed by Russia. Active detection of radiation of nuclei exomars M. Developed by Russia. Multi-channel diode laser spectrometer for atmospheric investigations MDLS. Developed by Russia. Radio thermometer for soil temperatures Pat M. Developed by Russia. Dust particle size, impact, and atmospheric charging instrument suite Dust Suite. Developed by Russia. A seismometer named SEM. Developed by Russia. Gas Chromatography Mass Spectrometry for Atmospheric Analysis MGAP. Developed by Russia. Power source The science and communication instruments on the lander platform will be powered by solar panels and rechargeable batteries. The automated voltage power system is being developed and built by ISS Reshetnev. Russia previously evaluated the option of using a radioisotope thermoelectric generator (RTG) to power the science instruments and a radioisotope heater unit (RU) to provide thermal control while on the frozen Martian surface. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Landing site selection. After a review by an ESA-appointed panel, a short list of four sites was formally recommended in October 2014 for further detailed analysis. Mauerth Vallis Oxia Planum Hypanis Vallis Aram Dorsuman 21 October 2015, Oxia Planum was chosen as the preferred landing site for the ExoMars rover assuming a 2018 launch. Since the launch was postponed to 2020, Aram Dorsum and Mauerth Vallis will also be considered. ESA convened further workshops to re-evaluate the three remaining options and in March 2017 selected two sites to study in detail. Mauerth Vallis Oxia Planum final selection is scheduled to occur approximately one year before launch. References Topic. External links ExoMars 2020 by NPO Lavochkin in Russian 
ExoMars rover and surface platform at ESA's Planetary Science Archive.